How is your morning, my friends? How is your morning, my friends? How is your morning, my friends? Mine is cold. How is your morning, dear boys? How is your morning, dear boys? How is your morning, dear boys? Mine is cold. Mm -hmm. How is your morning, dear girls? How is your morning, my dear girls? How is your morning, my dear girls? Mine is cold. Ooh, but as soon as we go to Storyland, hmm, I'll be warm again. Storyland makes me happy and warm, and I'm going to meet more friends who are going to give me hugs. Hmm, and I'll feel warm. Who is our friend? Gary Goldfish and Goldfish reads. G G G Goldfish reads G uh -huh. Peter Pointer You are going to draw the big G A big curve And a sleeping line going in the middle Now we are going to draw the small G A circle You go up you make a standing seat, a stick, and you make a bend going up. Aha. Uh -huh. Now, do you remember that Gary Goldfish had a song? Hmm. Glad Gary Goldfish had great fun working hard until the goal was done. Good girl. Bringing bricks to Gabby Gabby's yard. Wow! Story, story. Yesterday I went marching and I had fun marching. So even today I'm going to go to Storyland marching. How are you going to Storyland? Hmm. Let's go. This is the way to Storyland, Storyland, Storyland. This is the way to Storyland. Come, let us go. We shall meet with all our friends, all our friends, all our friends. We shall meet with all our friends. Just wait and see. Put on your listening cups, thinking cups, and remembering. Uh -huh. Gary Goldfish had gone on an exciting field trip. The Green Gulf Academy helped to rebuild Gabby Gappy's garage and house. Gary Goldfish helped by carrying bricks for an octopus brick layer. Now it was Saturday morning. Papa Goldfish, Mama Goldfish, and Gary Goldfish were eating breakfast. They were eating granola. <gasps> Suddenly, <gasps> bang, 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 the gong in the town square was banging again. Would better go and see what is happening, said Papa Goldfish. The Goldfish family quickly glided through the waters of Gigogago Gulf. They saw sea creatures coming from every house. Everyone came to the town square. Governor Gray walked up onto the town square platform. He began to speak. Governor Gray began to speak. Greetings, ladies, gentlemen, and children, began Governor Gray. I want to thank everyone for helping to rebuild Gabby Gappy's garage and house. Because you were so kind, Gabby Gappy has planned something very special to say to you. Gabby Gappy, would you like to tell them now? 
Gabi Gabi slowly climbed onto the town square platform. His gushed fin was wrapped in a bandage. Remember, he had hurt the fin, so they had wrapped it in a bandage. Thank you for helping me, Gudged Gabi Gabi. I I so very glad that I have a warm safe. I have a warm safe home once again. I love you very much. Yay! The fish friends all clapped their fins and cheered. Then the governor said something very special. I, Governor Gray of Gigo Gago Gulf, do hereby declare today Saturday, Gigo Gago Gulf Gratitude Day. Gratitude means thankfulness. To celebrate Gigo Gago Gulf Gratitude Day, we will have a picnic on the grassy town square. There will be games and a special surprise tonight. I love surprises. What could the surprise be? The friends of Gigo Gago Golf were greatly surprised. They were all surprised. They had not expected such a treat for helping Gabby. Gabby, they had already had great fun helping their friend. I now order, said Governor Gray, that the Gigo Gago Golf Gratitude Picnic Fun begin. Cheered the fish friends of Gigo Gago Golf as they began to play games. Swish, swish, we go, we go, we go, we go, swish, swish, swish. Oh my, all the little fish began to play hide the seashell. The little fish played fin ball too. Hmm. Then the grown ups started to play baseball. An octopus was the pitcher. The octopus was the pitcher. A crab with a big baseball glove was the catcher. So he was the pitcher and he was the catcher. Whoosh! He is Papa Goldfish. Papa Goldfish hit the ball and began to swing around the seashell bases. Go, Papa Goldfish! shouted Gary Goldfish as he waved his fin. It was a home swing. So me and you, it would be a home run because we have legs to run. But to the fish, it is a home swim because for them, they swim around. Okay? Playing games soon caused everyone get hungry. They all went over to the picnic tables. Gary Goldfish looked at the picnic tables. Gary Goldfish's eyes grew so big. It looked as if he were wearing goggles. The picnic tables were, were, were covered with good food. Mm, I love good food too. Gary Goldfish filled his plate with roast goose and gravy. Gary Goldfish also got grape and grapefruit salad for dessert. For dessert, Gary Goldfish chose green lime pie hmm gary goldfish sat down by papa and mama goldfish gary goldfish remembered not to <laughs> gobble his food it made papa and mama goldfish glad to see gary goldfish use such good manners let's clap for gary goldfish and nice for using good manners 
After lunch, there were more fun games. Everyone swished and swam and swiggled until Gango Gigo Gago Golf grew dark. It was night. Let's go and sit in the grand stands, suggested Mama Goldfish. We don't want to miss the special surprise. Soon, all the Gigo Gago Golf friends were seated in the grand stands. Lights began to glow and glimmer in the sky. Fireworks! exclaimed Gary Goldfish. Our surprise is fireworks! Wow! I just imagine fireworks flying all over Gigo Gago Goldfish. Gigo Gal. Wow! Gorgeous golden fireworks flew across Gigo Gago Gulf. What a grand way to end a great day, gasped Gary Goldfish. As he watched the pretty lights, it's always good to help others, said Papa Goldfish. It sure is, said Gary Goldfish, as he snuggled next to Papa Goldfish. And helping others makes you feel great. What a story! I enjoyed Gary Goldfish's story. Day one, day two, day three, day four. It was as it was such a good story. Time for questions. Put on your remembering cups. Hmm. What day did the governor declare Saturday to be? Gigo Gago Golf Gratitude Day! Why did the governor make it a special day? Because everyone had helped Gabi Gapi! Had the friends of Gigo Gago Golf expect, expected a treat for helping? Mm -mm -mm. When you're helping someone, you don't have to get something in return. You don't have to expect something in return. But someone can surprise you and give you something in return. So they never expected anything in return. Papa Goldfish made a in the baseball game papa goldfish made something in the baseball game papa goldfish made a home swing in the baseball game gary goldfish said helping others makes you feel great wow i never expect anything in return after helping someone but it's not a bad thing when someone helps you and you give back something and you'll be thankful for 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 him helping you but never expect anything if you're helping okay Fireworks for everyone. Boom. See you in the next.